Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Early Beats. In today's video I'm going to do a crash course on FPC. In the next few videos I'm going to do crash courses on the FL Studio plugins. So we have a crash course on FL Studio itself, which is a basic course on how you can uh, work with FL Studio and in the next few videos I'm going to do a similar approach but for plugins. So stay tuned to see more videos like this. If you want to send me your FL Studio project I will have links in the description and you can send me your project. I will open it here in a video and I will try to make it better. I will correct what is wrong. I will work on what you want me to work on and I will pretty much show you what I uh, what I would do if uh, we were collaborating. So if you want to send me your FL Studio project, I have a link in the description. And without further ado, let's start the tutorial. FPC is a plugin that is very similar to the hardware Akai MPC unit. This is basically a self-contained multi-layer velocity drum machine that makes it easy to create, edit and swap drum kits on the fly. It's a very, very interesting plugin and I use it a lot in my productions. This is what you get when you open FPC and it's a very simple and intuitive interface to work with. You can see this wheel here and if you click on it, you will switch between the different interfaces that are available. So you have a small one, a complete one and an intermediate one, I would say, where you have all 32 pads. And then you have this one when you have only 16 pads. And here in the pattern manager, you can load your MIDI patterns or MIDI patterns that are available in FS Studio. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, patterns that you can choose from. And if, for instance, we click here, FPC, you see that a pattern was loaded into this uh, FPC channel. So let's lower the tempo since this is a hip hop pattern. So around 90. Okay, you can go to the next one. And you get the idea. You can choose from whatever loops they are here, they have here. Of course, this is for congas, so it might sound a little bit strange, but let's go to funk loops. And you can see that we have some really nice patterns already included with the FPC. So this is basically this top interface here. Then let's go to the main pad properties. And as you can see here, we have pad one of 32. And this means that the pad one is selected of 32. And if I click on here, we see that it's pad two, pad three and so on. So you can click on the pad and it will reflect here. You can also click here and go to bank A or bank B and you can set whatever pad you want. So let's go to snare and snare is this one. And of course, let's go again to side stick. And you have some options here where you can rename, add color, change the icon and everything. As you can see, this icon is the one that shows here, side stick and the color. So you can customize pretty much every pad here. As you can see in this um, uh, default template, you see that uh, this is already set and you can see that we have different colors, we have different uh, icons and also the, the names are here. So you can create our, your own set of pads and you can save all your configurations and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so you can also move forward and back. Then here it reflects the name of the, the pattern, the pad. Here it reflects the name of the pad and if you click it, you also trigger the pad as if you triggered here the pad. Then we have here the pad volume, the pad panning and the pad pitch or the pad tuning. If you lower here, you have a lower volume. If you set it high, you have a high volume. Here the panning, if you want to put it on the left, on the right and here if you want to tune the sound sample that you are working with. So let's say I want to pitch it down or I can also pitch it up. Then we have mute, solo and uh, scale volumes. Then we have here some MIDI information and uh, this basically defines where this pad will play. So if you go, let's go to a new pattern. Let's go here, piano roll. And it says here that the side stick is on C sharp three. 
So if we go down here, so we have B, we have C, and then we have C sharp. So as you can see, I'm clicking here. So if I want to put, let's say I want to put the side stick on B2, I can just simply come here and put it on B2. And now we have the side stick on B2. So let me put back here on C sharp. And of course, every time you switch the MIDI note, it will also switch the name here in the piano roll. So whatever name you put here in the pad, it will also reflect here in the piano roll. Then we have some options for cut and cut by, and we can also have output. I will not touch the cut and cut by, but I will talk about the output. So let's say we put the FPC on insert three in the mixer, but we want the side stick to go to channel, let's say four. What we do is we set the output here and we set it to one. So it will be the instance of the plugin in the insert number plus this number here. So we are in three and we wanted to put it on four. So we set to one. And if we now click here, you see that the drum, for instance, goes on, on insert three and the side stick goes on insert four. So you have to be a little bit careful. You can also rename this so that you don't use it. But if you change the FPC to channel four, what will happen is that now it goes to channel five. So you have to be a little bit careful about this. And once you set this number here for the mixer, you should not touch it. So let's say we have here FPC and here we set side stick. Okay, so now we have side stick here and let's say we add some uh, distortion to the side stick. Okay, let's make it not so much. I'm more aggressive a little bit. Okay, so that we can see the difference. So now what happens is that if I want to move the insert number and if I do it like this and I put it on four, what happens is now the drum will have the distortion that I set up that was for the side stick and the side stick will not have that distortion anymore because if you move the FPC, what will happen is that this pad here will be added to the number that you have here that routes to the mixer. And again, now if we do that, if we want to change like this, what happens is that we change the the FPC from one channel to the other. And what happens is that you still have this one here. And what you can do, for instance, is maybe do like this. And then you have, so you have to rearrange the tracks here in the mixer, which can be a little bit tricky. And by the way, for you to rearrange stuff in the mixer, you can click on Alt and move to the left or to the right. So you have to be a little bit careful about this because this can mess up your mixing and uh, whatever you do for your, your drums. Okay, then we have the layer section and this layer section is very, very simple. You can have several layers in the same sample. For instance, in this case, the side stick, we have four layers and it means that this sample here will play only in this volume here. So if you set the velocity of your pad to be very high, then this will be the sample that will play. If you want, let's say in this area here, and we can say that um, it's uh, between 82% and 95%, what will happen is that if you set your velocity to that value, uh, this will be the sound that will play. Uh, again, for this one is 65 to 82. This will be the sound. As you can see, the sound is different from the rest of the other. And in this one here from zero to 65, and we have a different one. And to make this very clear, we can do is, uh, for instance, lower the pitch, something like that. And we can have pitches very, very random for, for all the, the samples so that you can see the difference. So, so this is uh, the several layers that we have, and we can trigger those layers if we go here to the side stick. And let's say we start with a low velocity. So what will happen is that it will play this sound and then this sound, this sound, and then after that sound. So as you can see, you can have multiple 
sounds you can also change the pitch the panning and the volume of each sound which is really really nice you don't need to actually put this on these levels so you don't have to set the trigger to these levels you can have them to trigger all at the same time and you can do something like that you can create delete you can order the, the layers here and you can even put here spread even and it will put all the the sounds evenly spread it so this is basically what you can do here with the layers and it's very nice because you can really be creative and you can create your own kits your own sounds just with layering and changing pitches and everything so it's very powerful to use this and you can see we just used this for the side stick if you go to the kick we will have different sounds with different layers so this can become very complex in terms of um, the sounds that you have in each pad and every sound you can make it sound really really organic so if you have a lower velocity you can trigger a different sound than you have in a high velocity and this is used to trigger or to mimic a real drum player and if you see if you hit a hi-hat in a, in a drum set you will have different velocities that you can play or different intensities and it will create a different sound and you can replicate or try to mimic that behavior here with the PC with this multi-layer panel. On top of here we have an um, envelope where you can set envelope curves. It's very simple, you just enable it here and as you can see now the sounds, let me put this higher so that we have different sounds here. As you can see you can change the curves here you can change how the sound sounds basically with the envelope this is the normal one this is the with the envelope so this is very simple you can enable and disable an envelope and basically here what we have on the left is the pad pattern or the pads basically and here you can see that we have 16 pads 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 by 4, 16 and we can select between a, bank A or bank B you can select on, uh, if you click here it enables, it toggles between both banks and it's very simple you can just drag and drop sounds and uh, set them as you want so as you can see, for instance, I will show you I have a bunch of my own kits I have samples from Mars some, some of the, all the kits that I bought from them I have them here organized. I don't have them with names and symbols, uh, with icons and um, colors. I just have, let's say, let me show you, for instance, Lean 60. Let's go a clean kit. And I have the kit here. As you can see, I loaded the kit so that I can have it here, so that I can quickly go through my library. And uh, pretty much every sound that I like, I go here, I create a pattern, or I add the sounds to the FPC and then I create a new pattern. Uh, now I have a folder with headbanging trap drums and I can go here and let's say I want my snares and I have my snares here ready, ready to, to, to work. Instead of having to go here to the folder, drum kits, headbanging trap drums, here, here, clicking uh, here in the snares and then go through them I can have them just here and I can even play several at the same time if I want to combine combine sounds so this makes it uh, it gives you a little bit more flexibility and it gives you more control over your own sounds and how you want to play your own sounds and uh, this is it guys it's very simple it's a very powerful plugin when you start creating your own libraries of your own sounds, organizing your own sounds with this FPC, it becomes a very, very powerful tool. And I will, I strongly recommend you start using it much, much more to organize your workflow and to speed up your productions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new here to this channel, consider subscribe and activate the notifications so that you know when I upload new videos. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Also consider supporting my channel by buying one of my products at dailybeats.pt or become a premium or exclusive member and you will have access to exclusive content and material about music production that I do just for the website. And uh, 
If you want to send me your project file, I will have a link in the description and I will pretty much try to improve your beat, your project, try to work on something that you are stuck and I will show you how I would go about it. So this is it guys. My name is Tiago Duarte and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.